so you're gonna have to put away your Gano. Which is why I was wondering, like, I wish I could see... How far... Which direction? How far along? Yeah. Let's switch... Yeah, I got you. The sword is that... I like the speed of that one. Uh, to break the illusion of... Seamless gameplay. Oh, snap, and you see that? Oh, that's badass. And we're back! <laughs> I'm starting it after you said that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. I'm gonna keep doing that. <laughs> No, stop, please. Man, we're back. I don't yeah. remember where I'm going. <laughs> See, okay, that's a dead giveaway. If they get to see this gameplay, I don't remember where I was going. No, never mind, I figured it out. I know where you're going. Tiny. Do the uh, stab in the ground and see if it uh, hits a bunch of people. Good. Well, you beef that one. Well, I just got done playing Lords of Shadows, <laughs> so I'm getting used to these controls. Oh yeah, that's all. We'll see on screen coming out of the shadows. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Back in the day, back to the old school environment. So where are you at in your little shadows? Oh, did you see that? What? Oh. So just in case, I mean, guys, start the recording after the point where I said, we're back, but by the way, and we're back. Uh, uh, he switched to the sword because the, um, the leveling track apparently is better for the parry with the sword versus the axe. Oh, there we go. That's what I was, I was trying to figure out what my block was. Oh, uh, which is the same, because we, I don't know. Don't get me wrong. I like sword. Just as much as the next guy, but I feel like they get a lot of uh, exposure in fantasy games, so it's kind of nice when you play something that else isn't sword. And I'm, I'm always a big fan of a mace. And uh, I'm, I'm, as I mentioned in your previous, my previous play, where we're playing the like I'm a big fan of spears. That particular guy is taking a few more hits than I. But I think he's probably strong against this weapon type. Uh, oh no, that thing's healing him. <laughs> Go for the cloth or the cloth user for the cloth. Alright, there we go. Looks like I thought he died, but no, he's the camera. There we go. So I haven't read reviews on this game at all, I just, you know, I jumped into the title, so you, I remember you mentioning that it's not, uh, particularly popular. Yeah, it was not very well received. What were the, uh, what was the, like, negative criticisms about it, or the, like, general consensus of negative criticisms? Uh, people's problems with it? Mm -hmm. Sorry about that, I was adjusting sound a little no, bit. No, I saw. That's fine. And so did all your viewers. No, actually, they don't see that. Oh. Well, <laughs> guess what? You didn't see me adjusting the volume. Yeah, they because the way it records, it's only recording the the full screen thing. That's fine. I got to see it. Well, you you should know. All six of you who are watching this video. <laughs> this moment. I'm still laughing that the tofu boyfriend video has almost 100 views. Yeah, that kind of cracks me up. But, uh, no, people's problem with it, I think one was, like, the lock-on is kind of not great. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. Uh, I think a little bit of the same problem that people had with the, with, uh, the other 3D one, and that it was a lot of, like, same corridor, same corridor. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yes, but we get to go outside eventually. Yeah. Probably they're mostly upset with Tiny Hector. Go stand next to that painting. Go stand next to that painting behind you real quick. That one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Tiny Hector. I feel like anyone else would be like, like, like waist high. That painting would be waist high. Like, hmm. I like how amused you are by Tiny Hector. Yeah. It's funny. I never noticed it before. Look at this. That's a, does that knock him up? If you can hit it? Yes, it does. That move's pretty cool. I actually appreciate the breadth of, like, attack options here. 
Yeah, when you really, like, it feels like you're using a different weapon, so. The, like, I know the axe you're using is... Whoa! Oops. Ooh. Alright. Hey, it's a... White dragon. They're always yeah. called white dragons. I don't remember their name. Um... But yeah, the axe moveset was very similar to the sword. The first sword, like, with the throw. But, uh, this one is definitely different. Yeah. Oh, nice. I found those. The aerial, the aerial rave. Aerial, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's keep on going. But yeah, I think a lot of people's problem with it was just, you know... I mean, none of the 3D Castlevanias were very well, uh... No, they weren't. They weren't pretty, and I, I knew that much. I just... We're not very well accepted. Does that include Lords of Shadows? Actually, no, Lords of Shadows is the best selling Castlevania game ever. Uh, I didn't know that, and that's awesome. It's yeah. a shame that Konami hates money. <laughs> and games. <laughs> and games. But no, Lords of Shadows, actually, yeah, it's the best, it was the, the highest selling Castlevania game ever. Uh, I could see that, and... Because it was what? PS3, Xbox 360, and PC, right? Yeah, it was that, like, that era. It had been a long time since the 3D one. You know, it had the Kojima name on it, if you remember that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I have, I got it on quite a great sale on Steam. Not to plug in some Steam sales here, but man. I I'll actually bought it by accident on Steam, because I already owned it on PS3. <laughs> yeah. Or on 360. And I totally mm -hmm. thought it was a sale for two. <laughs> uh, well, I got, I got, I which is up. fine because I wouldn't have needed to buy it anyway for this play for this thing. But yeah. I got it on sale for like five bucks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So did I. Game of the Year edition, five dollars. Yep. And then um, that's the, the one I got. And I also have two lined up and ready to go. Yeah, like I hundred, I hundred percented it on uh, on Xbox. That stands to reason. It looks like a, a fun game to wanna. 100%. Well, I had played through the first couple, first few chapters and stopped. This is back in like 2015 when I got it, and I was already a few years old at that point. Yeah. Um, what, what year was it released? Maybe 2011, it was I think, because I was living with John and James when mm, it came out. Yeah, I'm actually going to fact check that real quick, just for my own um, knowledge base. God, these guys are really annoying. It's definitely Dang. best of... <laughs> Dang, even earlier than that. 2010. 2010, yeah. Uh, it, was, 2010. it was 10 or 11 because it's when I lived with John and James. Yeah, I remember that. Um, the PC was version was uh, released in 2013. So when I got it in 2015, I had been out on PC for two years. But it was something that I remember that I had considered looking at because I still had the 360 at that point. But... I don't know. But I can't pass up a good sale. Uh, potentially awesome game. But, anyways, I played it a little bit in 2015, and then earlier, the, when I started up again, I had my old save file, and I had no idea what to do. There is no easy in-game way to defeat, to start a new game. No. So, I, you have to go and find the save file and delete the save file. Thank you. <laughs> but, and, Tucked away in a very strange place. I mean, to be I, fair, to be fair, you could just start from a ch earlier chapter, and but you have all the move sets and something. Yeah, things that's the one thing sense. is you have all the moves and stuff. It just things didn't make sense, and I really wanted to like recapture that experience. So deleted the save file, started fresh. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, I'm at uh, I'm in chapter like nearing the end of chapter three right now, I think, or chapter yes. no chapter two, because because uh, I think. Chapter three is really just the boss fight with the with the Lord of Lycan. Yeah. Which is, no, which is a great callback to Cornell from the N64 game. Yeah, Cornell. Oh God, watching you play that. Did, did did you beat that Lord of Shadow, the first one, the Lord of Lycans? No. What the Lord of Lycans? I believe I did. That's it. Sounds super familiar. Because it's Cornell. It is Cornell. Okay. Yeah. Well, I was remembering the uh, watching you play the 64. Yeah, no, it's, I mean, it's the same guy. They... Yeah, yeah, and it was terrible watching you play the 64. Look at that moon. Look at that moon. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> what, is this, what is going on with this moon? 
It's so it's such a JPEG. Yeah, can't wait for Hector never to be mentioned again in the lore. <laughs> 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 Maybe he should have showed up in the fighting game. Oh god, he didn't, did he? No. Discount Alucard. card. You know who is in the fighting game? Oh god, who? I don't Sh know. Shinoa. Oh, that's fine. Shinoa's badass. Um. But yeah, uh, I did read that Lord of Shadows 2 was um, not nearly as well received as the first one. No. And that they, they took some really weird creative turns with it. Yeah. All I know is that, like, for some reason, there's, like, unkillable enemies that you have to stealth around. And they're like, why is there stealth in this game? Why is this a thing? Because <laughs> Konami hates video games. Those boss room doors are the same ones that are in Lament of Innocence. Exactly the same boss room door. Nice. Crazy, crazy armor! armor. <laughs> He's gotta go crazy! It's just like a Devil May Cry fight. This... <laughs> That's your second Devil May Cry reference. Dude, the Devil May Cry games are great. They are. I actually, um... Especially the new one with Dante, the DMC. <laughs> <laughs> now, I actually... I didn't play DMC when it came out, but last year ended up receiving it as a gift on Steam. And uh, playing through it again a few years after it had come out, and I thought it was good as a DM, as a Devil May Cry, pure Devil May Cry fan, like the first one being my favorite. <laughs> um, really, not I, three? Uh, no, not three is not my favorite. I like three, um, but <laughs> obviously it's two, <laughs> everyone's favorite. Let's actually not even mention two. <laughs> what? What? There was a what? two. There was a, no, it went from it went one, three, and four. I actually heard four was pretty good. I never got to play it. Four, like four is good, and they weirdly released a remastered version of it on Steam not Weird. too long ago. Weird. Uh, yeah, I know. Bunch of years old at this point, but um, no, nah, DM. I, I I see what they were trying to do with DMC. It's a, and I I was prepared for. I was wondering why he was so easy. Nope, he's crazy. Crazy. Now, it's like the general consensus, and I fully side with this, is um, it's a great all around game, DMC, but it is not a good Devil May Cry game. Well, I think it most people, most people's actual problem with it is the is the Dante. <laughs> I thought that, I didn't think Dante was that bad, um, and maybe it's because they made changes to him. I don't know. It just mind you, he wasn't pure Dante pure real Dante, but it was... It's like, when I, when I think Dante, I want him spinning around a stripper pole eating pizza. Well, it's yeah. crazy. <laughs> Dante. But, like, you know, he's, he's kind of just goofy. He goes by, like, Goofy Cloud. Same. Goofy Cloud. Ah, more chairs. Where? I didn't see it. No, not a real chair. Like, well, a real chair, not a... That's... Is it? Right Where? back there. No, no, it's been... Oh, yeah, yeah, that way. But you need to heal first. I feel like that chair takes you somewhere. It's it like does. A elevator chair. Is he going to sit in all badass like? A chair nope. a chair later. A chair later. I need chairs to get around my house. <laughs> you just need a flying couch. <laughs> a flying couch would be amazing. Yeah, here's uh, the here's the music. Ah, uh, yep. With the with the vocals when the vocals kick in. Mm -hmm. This is one of the. But there we go, Bajet. Ah, there the, we go. I the Bajet Mountains. I actually, um, long long time ago had a uh, game station on my ba Pandora, and this popped on randomly. Nice. Did it? Yeah. Oh okay. yeah. I had, the, I had an entire Castlevania soundtrack series. Nice. I think it's the, um, the fighting one. Yeah, I remember this guy. I used him a lot. Really? Yeah. Magmar! <laughs> Sounds like a damn Pokemon. What are we gonna name it? 
Is his name jo Elville? Elville? Yeah, that's strange. We should name him Jonna, exclamation point. <laughs> Just name them all Jonna. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With various forms of punctuation. <laughs> no, no. It, it's, as funny as that is, and trust me, it's funny. Let's name him. <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> that was exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so it's good to be named after the brothers Regera. <laughs> I can dig it. I can dig it. Battle type or exceptionally strong except physical combat, as their name implies. <laughs> <laughs> They are most effective in battle. Really? Who who could have guessed that the battle ones are good in battle? I appreciate a certain level of redundancy. Do you? No. Does anyone? Yeah, I don't know. Alright, battle type is devils have an additional AI mode. In addition to auto command, they also have guard. They will enter defensive stand blocking all enemy attacks. Appear on all attacks will be blocked while the guard field. If Hector stands in the guard field, he will also be protected from any attacks for a certain amount of time. As the guard field is attacked, the circle will shrink. As, he as Hector executes certain combos, the word chain may appear. Press the attack button or final attack button when this happens. If timed correctly, the id will warp in front of Hector and attack for a co op attack. Alright. A lot of text. I know. I don't want you right now, though. I wanna. I still want Jana. <laughs> I want to get him to a certain, to the next level at least before I. Stand through him. You did have some combine options, by the way. I did. Oh, yeah, I did, didn't I? New ones. Hmm. No. You got knuckles. A knuckles. A knuckles. Aluminium and a. New helmet. I think definitely going with. The helmet route. Yeah. Oh, because it involves you swing your nice. Corinthian helmet. Can you, you can still do the knuckle. No, I can't. Oh, it used the um, aluminium. Oh, that's a shame. That's fine. Oh, that's better helmet's always better. It'd be funny if he actually was wearing it. Yeah. Alright. Uh, games, back when you changed armor all the time and it never displayed it. Then I know. But for some reason, this is lagging. <laughs> Actually, I think I remember this area lagging on the <laughs> when I played it. On the PlayStation 2, yeah, I do. I think it's because it's a big area, mm -hmm. and it was it was a little ambitious for. <laughs> you know what this yeah. mount? You know what this actually reminds me of? This area, <laughs> uh, the mountain ranges in uh, Order of Ecclesia. Mm, yeah. Like no, the like same, same kind of look, just 2D, but also yeah. same kind of music. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with you. Alright, is there any way to see how many evil crystals he has? Can you highlight them and check out their stats? Like, open up? Yeah, I can. Okay. Mm, I don't see any indicators. For some reason, I can pick up. I can look at him. But you can't look. At, well, switch to him and then try. That's what I was. That's what I was gonna do. Well, that's <laughs> that's fine. So you're 26. Yeah, but I want uh, sword. Oh. So. How many swords do you need? Uh, <laughs> look at that guy running around. <laughs> <laughs> you look funny as shit. Like, I know. Let me let me take care of this lizard man first. I'm gonna get you. The, this lusty Argonian maid. That's like pure, like best literature there. Lifts I love stuff. that the Lusty Angodian Maze is an ongoing joke through all the games. I just appreciate the fact that I found an entire pile of Lusty Arconian Maids. Yes, that's also funny. Oh, um, Bethesda still, like it kind of cracks. But me I need, I need that. forty. Okay, you need forty. That's not bad. Uh, it kind of cracks me up that. It's you know, Skyrim was released six years ago, and it's still kind of a relevant, talked-about game. And I'd have to attribute that to the modding community. Oh yeah, 
Look, like, I loved Skyrim, man. I did too. Skyrim Man is my favorite hero. Skyrim Man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, that's I good. Feel bad. Dude, I just uh, fucking wrecked that dog. Did you see that? I did. Now, mind you, I have my gripes with Skyrim. It's by far, it is not a perfect game by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, no. But, no, no, no. But, no. It, but as far as like the immersion level and the mod ability. Um, Look at this skeleton. What are you doing? What are you doing, just, buddy? You just look pay attention to the party. It still has my. It's, Skyrim does have my most powers on any Steam game. So. Mine's just TF2, but. No, oh, actually. Yeah. TF2 has probably been beaten by uh, Civ 5 at this point. Let me actually creep on you. Let me see what's going on. Oh, look at this Pigman! What? Pigman! Yeah, there's a pig man. Yeah, that's him. Oh, did you see that? Oh, that I didn't what, see what? Did, oh, did you not see like the zigzag? Oh, yeah, nice. What is all? What is all these tech? All this? All these different attack styles with this weapon? This, it's a very technical weapon. Maybe it's kind of cool. I can dig it. I remember these mountains are huge as a zone. Yeah. Because I think they actually connect multiple zones. If I remember yeah. correctly. Which I very well might not. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember. There's some things that stand out stupid clear, like the magma guy. But, like um, Joey? <laughs> like Joey? See, Pikmin. Yeah, I see. Nope, yeah, you're right. Your top play game is Civ 5. Your second is TF2, and your third is Skyrim. Yeah. Let's see what mine are. Joseph uh, Pigman. Joseph Pigman. Of the Philadelphia Pigments. <laughs> uh, I have uh, Skyrim's my number one. New Vegas is number two. My number three is kind of embarrassing. What is it? Assassin's Creed Unity. Oh no. <laughs> you should be embarrassed by that. <laughs> well, my explanation is that I played it a year later, and if it was left to actually develop for a whole other year, it may have been. Ooh, cutscene. Pause. Pause the Assassin's Creed story. Hello, Aerith. Do, do, do. It can't be. I killed you. Spoilers. She can't be alive. Nope, nope. She can't. He's... Oh. May I be of service? Uh, no. I service you and gladly. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Hector. Oh my god, what is that from? <laughs> That's from the Conan game. Oh yeah. That's, That's right. Conan the Barbarian. <laughs> That's right. Man, they can't. I saw that from you. <laughs> like another game we were playing. Or you were playing, I was hanging out. Is he your enemy or your friend? You sound as if you know him. Yes, quite so. Now answer me. Be he your friend or foe? He is my most bitter enemy. Jeez. I see. In that case, I shall help you. Pardon me, milady. But by what reason Tips Fedora. This boon? <laughs> Indeed. By what reason should I trust it? Your enemy is my enemy. That is reason enough. If you are a Devil Forge master, you shall need a place to keep your little friends safe. Rest assured, you have no reason. Look at that moon. Now it's not big and red. You seem quite knowledgeable. Not yet. Who are you exactly? A witch. I <sighs> the writing is so awkward. I feel like this was awkwardly translated. <laughs> I have the power to envision the future. How interesting. And your name? Julia. My house is further on. I shall prepare an elixir that may be of use to you. Okay, random witch lady. Don't accept strange drinks from strange women, Hector. Did you learn nothing in college? Julia. <laughs> what kind of fucking name is Rosalie? <laughs> God, don't hate on Rosalie. Oh my Anyways. god, that's why this place branches like 80 times. 
80. Look at this. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Assassin's Creed Unity. Played it a year later. Frankly, it would have been a better game if it would cook, if it just was left to cook in the oven for a whole other year. But um, there was a mini resurgence in the in the awkward multiplayer, and was which was a bit of the charm. And actually, Joey and I tore into it a lot, so we played a ton of the multiplayer together. And I actually started a group up. And, yes. <sighs> look how look how tidy he is. <laughs> <laughs> fucking tidy Hector. The books are huge. Look at. This. Curse. <laughs> <laughs> the real curse of darkness was Tiny Hector all along. Wow. She's tiny too. That's what she. Oh, that's yeah, the yeah, real storyline. Is that Hec Tiny Hector has to cure Tiny Hector and Tiny Julia. I, I can make a dung. Yeah, yeah. You should buy a dung though. No, I'm kidding. Don't waste your money on the yeah, dung. Yeah, I'm, I'm not wasting my money on. If it wasn't so expensive, but I have like no money compared to. So. Is the money just used to buy weapons that you couldn't, you could normally make yourself? Probably not. I mean, it's probably to to buy weapons because I mean you could probably make all of them, but you need the 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 stuff. Mm, can you break down weapons? You can sell stuff. That's for sure. Yeah, I can sell. I can sell the the material, but does it not look like I can sell the actual? What the fuck? Wow. Is the... Oh, I... I have a feeling I don't want to sell that. Yeah, that's the... No. Very valuable to those who are interested. It kind of reminds me of uh, when I played Kingsfield. <laughs> oh yeah, you can leave your... your Because you can have multiples of the same type. You can sell stuff that you shouldn't be able to sell. Like, you can sell anything. And you, can, like, you don't want to sell that. I can leave Janna... Thank you. Oh, hey, a map. That's fantastic. In fact, no, I'm not even joking. I'm not like I'm being serious. It's great. <laughs> oh my God, look at this place, Nate. Oh, get this. Hold on, sorry. I'm actually tabbed out. I'm reading about the Moai statue. Um, it uh, it also made an appearance in Castlevania Curse of Darkness as a special item found hidden in the first stage if a save file of Lament of Innocence was found on the memory card. Oh, yeah, because I have Lament on here. Yeah, that's kind of ridiculous. What, is, what uh, does it do? Uh, Game-specific information. If a save file of Castlevania Lament of Innocence is found on the memory card while playing Curse of Darkness at the beginning of the game, Hector can walk. Walk all the way to the opposite direction of the abandoned castle and reach a dead end. Uh, yeah. Then there he'll find a potion of my head. Uh, this item can be used to restore his health completely, or better yet, be sold at Julia's shop for, uh, for 5,000 gold. Oh, wow. That's what it's served for. You just have some nice amount of money to look start at, off with. Look at that oh, fucking wow. forest. Yeah, yeah, I just keyed back in. Dude, go sell that statue to Julia. No man could force this open. Uh, maybe a normal sized man. <laughs> Not a <laughs> tiny man. <laughs> what, what, the tiny what, what the fuck is what, this? What's up with this floor? It's like cyberpunk floor? It's not active yet. Oh, they're teleporters. Uh, that's the answer reason. Alright, well, I'm gonna go sell that then. Yeah, heck yeah. And buy, it, buy yourself a dung. Yeah, I was gonna buy a, the spear. Uh, the dung. Although, although to get what I need, it's either sword or fist, which sucks. For the uh, for the fairy. Yeah. Well. But the one after that is sword or spear. Good to nice. see you came back. What can I do for you? So let's sell that Maui statue. What will it be today? Damn it! Change your mind, huh? <laughs> what will it be today? Will that be all? Anything else? Uh, oh, um, good thing I have this hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> This the wiki hasn't misread you. Yeah, apparently, let me find uh, because it's kind of cool uh, in the original Castlevania. I mean, he didn't look at any wiki, we just knew this. <laughs> yes, no, I'm lit. I'm I looked it up. Oh, well, the, the dung is pretty strong actually. That's what 
she said? <laughs> yeah, I normally, I don't know. I felt the inclination to look that up because that just seemed too good to like, especially when at this point Ian has like no money. It just seemed felt, weird. Yeah, I felt compelled to look it up. And let's well, good thing now. I played Lament first. <laughs> So, you guys are wrapping up your Blue Wizard playthroughs. What are you guys going to do after you've played every Castlevania and John has played every Mega Man and all the side events are over? Uh, first, we're going to finish all the side events, then we're probably just every once in a while stream stuff or just play something fun, like when we, like how we talked about doing Legend of Mana. Uh, our, leg yeah, our Secret, our of, Secret Mana, of Mana, okay. yeah. Heck yeah, I'm down for that. So stuff like wait. that, like nothing, not not anything regular, but like, you know, something mm. catches our fans here. We want to stream. I think that's a that's or, very solid. Or uh, like I said, like record us playing Secret of Mana, which could be hilarious, which will probably be hilarious. God, it was well, most of us like probably like reminiscing over the um, all the bugs when we played. Yeah. And what year did we do that, Ian? I don't know. Two thousand seven. Oh my god. Was it 10 uh, years ago? It was 10 years ago. Oh almost to the god. freaking date because it was Jonathan showed back up from Japan sometime in November, I believe. Actually, I'm gonna go back and explore all that. Do it. 